Okay, let's talk about how to do heap memory allocation in C++. This is something else that's a little bit different. So in C, we use calloc and free from the standard lib.h um, header file. And we can, if you include cstdlib.h in your C++ program, then you can use calloc and free. But most C++ programs you use new and delete instead. So one of the features that they added to C++ was... Uh, that the memory allocation and deallocation on the heap are actually built in. So the advantages here is that these are built in, so there's no headers needed. We don't have to say, like, include anything um, in order to new, use new and delete. And they are type aware, meaning that because of the syntax, when we call new, we don't have to say type of int or whatever because... No, I'm sorry, we don't have to say size of because the compiler is already going to know what kind of an array we're trying to create and how big those things are. So new and delete are just kind of replacements for calloc and free, but they have a really different weird looking syntax because they're built in. And so let's look at how that works. Here's a small program that I have, which is reading in four numbers and printing them out. This is a C++ program. See, I use the C++ style, style header. and uh, But right now, it's just using a stack array. And so let's think about what would we need to do to make this be a heap array. Uh, in C, I would say int star arr equals calloc for and size of int. But we know we're not going to do that. So instead, so this would be a stack array. This would be a C style heap array. Um, instead, for C++ style heap array, it still has the same type, but I just say new, then the name of the type that I want, and then how big should it be. So you say new, um, and then the type, in this case, is going to be an array of ints, and then the size, which in this case is four. So it kind of looks similar to just declaring the um, stack array, it's sort of a similar syntax, um, but it's still going to give us a pointer, uh, just like calloc would. And then to deallocate this, the old way in C is that I would say free, but in C++, I'm going to say delete with empty square brackets like that. So that says delete uh, the array of memory that was allocated at this pointer. And so if I run this, it will work. Looks perfect. Of course, here, I don't really need to use a heap array, but uh, of course, you could put any number that you want into the square brackets here, and that's, and that's what you would get. So that's a simple um, allocation and deallocation with new and delete for an array. Let's also look at how this works for a single item at a time. So here is a linked list. Uh, one thing very important to notice, we'll talk about structs more next time, but... A node, a, a struct declaration is, we don't need to use the type def uh, anymore. So when we just say struct node like this in C++, then we can use the name node to refer to that struct. We don't have to say struct node or do a type def. So that's nice, but otherwise this looks exactly the same as what we knew from linked list before. Uh, and what you'll notice what's missing, if I try to compile this, it should tell me that I have undefined reference to add to front and undefined reference to dealloc. So we got to write those two functions, add to front and deallocate. So this is going to be where I allocate and deallocate nodes. You already know how to write add to front in C, but how would we do this in C++? Well, I would, I need to make a new node. So I say, um, and I can't use the word new, but I'll say front equals new node, like that. Notice that I don't put anything in square brackets here because it's just a single item, it's not an array. So when I allocate a single item with new, I just say new and then the name of the type. And then I can say front uh, data equals x, front next equals lst, and return front. And for deallocation, when you allocate things just one at a time like this without any square brackets, then the deallocation will also 
use delete, but also without the square brackets. Um, so I'll do this recursively. I'll say if the list is not null, then I will deallocate recursively list arrow next, and then uh, not free. I almost say free, but I want to say delete LST. Notice that in the other program, I said delete square brackets ARR because that was an array. But because this is just a single node that I'm deleting, then I just say delete like that. So now if I compile this and run it, seems to work. One small syntax thing that I'll point out which you can do is in C++ you can use new and also use the square bracket syntax to create that thing at the same time. So remember we have the square bracket syntax for structs which allow us like if I were um, making a new struct that was stored in the stack I could also fill in with data. Well now I can do that with new as well so I can say x comma lst and then I can actually just return this directly. So this is like a very convenient syntax. This allocates a new node on the heap, fills it in with these uh, values for its data and its next field, and then returns the pointer to that new node struct which was created. So we get to say things a lot more succinctly again because it's a common thing that you might want to do is to allocate in a function and return it. Okay, so the the other program, the, the other version I had is exactly the same. It's just that this is a little bit more of a um, succinct way of doing it. Great, so that's new and delete for one at a time, and we just saw previously new and delete for an array, and those are what you'll use now in C++ instead of calic and free.